Baby Final H. Who wants to propel into the top four? Welcome back to the channel, our channel, and if you're new here, my name is Gab. Today for you guys, I'm telling you another really kind of, I wish this was fake, um, story of my life. I've had just really either terrible or just like uncircumstantial things happen a lot to me. And I guess this was one of them. So obviously when things like this happen, I don't like to bring them up like right away or at least maybe even for years just because I feel like that's adding like fuel to a fire that I don't need. But this is something I want to talk about because I think it is quite ridiculous. If you guys are new here and like story time videos, please thumbs up down below or become a Barbie or I can also if you like crazy weird art. I just had to share this with you guys. This is going to be going to Norway. It's sold over on my eBay if you like really cool art. I have a lot more um, really unique things over there, but this is going to its new home. I've had it for a while. Um, this was sculpted, I believe, in 2019, so it's depressing, you know, that not like depressing that someone bought but you know when I have something for that long and then I sell a sculpture I'm like eh. it makes me like a little sad that it's leaving but at the same time I'm excited because I'm working on brand new sculptures this year and I like how this one feels it's like really cool I remember sealing it and it was so cool like the sealant that I used on it but yeah this is what it looks like and um it kind of reminds me of like a trophy it's weird. So I'm sure you see when I started this video uh, how I'm talking to a friend in the parking lot and I'm like freaking out because of the cans on my car and it was hard to tell like what exactly was vandalized because it was dark out but even before that happened inside of the bar that I was in I was recording myself because she was acting very aggressive. Mind you I'm um, taking steps back so the person who vandalized my car I used to work with her uh, we were friends at one point, had a falling out, and then she just really didn't care for me. Uh, which is fine, whatever, but don't touch my vehicle. So that night in question, she was running her mouth about me, me being me. I'm just partying. I don't care. I'm trying to have a good time and fun. And she was just on me and would not stop. Uh, either like yelling stuff at me, saying stuff to my friends. So at one point I was recording myself for my own safety. Yeah, yeah, my barber. That's me. Yeah. The ponytail and everything. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Desert yeah. going at it. Yeah. Apparently, I don't have oh my, my god, this is the perfect song. Huh? Right. Lavin? It's the perfect song. This is like middle school. <laughs> when I ended up deciding I wanted to leave and I went outside and I noticed that the girl in question and her friend were in the parking lot and they were sitting in a handicapped spot kind of like to mock me because if you didn't know I am disabled so I went to my car and there was cans all over it mind you this was I believe January February so it was so cold out that the alcohol and soda was starting to freeze onto the paint of my car which, if you didn't know that, alcohol and soda and caffeine eats at paint. 
I'm getting her license plate. Can you stay in the car? It's like they're waiting for the police to come or something. I don't get it. Really wasn't trying to do this right now, but tonight my car was vandalized by somebody. Um, really freaking pissed off. They are rude and obnoxious. The police are involved. And I'm sure I'll tell a story time about it. Because why wouldn't I? Because I'm just... It's like 5 in the morning... Wait, hey Alexa, what time is it? The time is 4.53 a.m. Alright, basically 5 a.m. in the morning and I'm just, I'm tired, I'm exhausted from getting out of the bar to meeting with the police to dealing with it. Like, I'm just... Some people should just grow up and leave others alone. At this point, I was pretty pissed off and I ended up calling the police. Uh, I will say I was pretty disappointed in the police in my area because when they got there way too late, uh, they pulled in, she was drunk and went over the median into traffic and took off. And by the time they jumped in their car to go after her, they lost her. So that was pretty depressing. And then they came back and did my police report. But like I said, I have video and evidence that it was her that did it. But the next day, when I was actually able to look at my car in the light, I was able to tell that she had hit my car. And the only reason why I know this is because they were parked next to my car with all the stuff in it. When they went to vandalize it, they must have went to like rip out and she sideswiped the back of my car because there's paint missing and her paint is on my car. Uh, so that was the first thing. Then there are just numerous little scratches all over the paint, uh, places where it's deep enough where they'd have to remove that whole panel and redo the paint. So it's quite ridiculous the damage that is on my car and where they did it i mean the hood there are marks there as well and like slowly yet surely i'm in the process of getting that all fixed still um and this is like years later so that was such a bad experience for me i was shocked that somebody would even like have the balls to touch my car and then i thought about getting a camera for my car but also cameras for cars do not work unless the car is being driven so if you're just having it sit somewhere in a parking lot it's not going to do anything uh, i feel like that was like one of the worst things that had happened to me that year just because i used to work with this person and i actually left that job because i was getting discriminated for my disability pretty badly where i was at so in her knowing this i just figured that she wouldn't act that way and she basically would go around and tell people that i was let go because i wasn't like a good worker when i left i wasn't let go i went somewhere else because of how i was being treated where i was like working at mind you she was the one who even got me the job so i don't know why she always acted so like backwards towards me but she did don't ever trust people that you think could possibly be your friends because at the end of the day things like this happen i mean mind you the week after i ended up going there i left my car at home and i had somebody else drive me because i wanted to hear what it was going to say i wanted to hear what was going to go on and the one guy was so drunk that he basically told me that he was outside and watched her and another girl do it and then realized what he said and kind of was like trying to backtrack it all but when you are drunk the truth comes out so of course i have a police report there's nothing really that i can do about it it's like a he said she said thing i was told um the facility where i was at that the cameras weren't working which i feel like is total bs so i guess like if you're going to take anything from the story i would say protect your belongings don't trust everybody and lay low i feel like sometimes i hate that so many people do know me or want to like talk to me or be my friend because this is what happens and i don't know who you can trust and who you can't trust sometimes and then the result is i have like a damaged car that i am literally still paying off and trying to get repaired now because people had to like take keys to it or whatever i have no idea of metal their nails I have no idea. Some of the marks are just like so sharp into the paint. It's crazy, but 
that is my story time of my freaking life. Let me know in the comments down below your thoughts, what you think of that. I know it's crazy. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.